All right. Hey, hey, everybody. It is Tuesday. I hope y'all are off to a really great week. We have a few exciting announcements that were shared yesterday from Jamie and the Homestead team that we are going to relay to you guys. And I'm so excited. We keep talking about convention. And the reason that we continue to bring it up at the beginning of every call is because it is the best way to fire up your business. It creates new life and you get to get together with people in person and you get to learn more information. And it's just a really, really important investment for you to make in yourself and your business. And this year it's October 13th and 14th in Thompson Station, Tennessee, which is just south of Nashville. Tickets are going live this Friday. There will not be like an early bird. It's just, we have 350 available spots. They are first come first serve. Tickets are $2.97. So make sure you are setting an alarm on your phone for Friday. In just a minute, I will. Um, so this Friday, make sure you set an alarm so that you can buy your convention ticket. There will be virtual options available and they are $2.97 as well. So hopefully you can make it in person. We understand that sometimes we just can't make that happen due to things like children and work and other things. So um, second best thing is virtual. So in addition to that goodness, we have something really exciting. It is a Father's Day special. And one reason I'm so pumped about this is because we know about it early. So we can prep our teams and prepare to be able to get that information out to our customers and prospects um, early on this game or go around. So I'm gonna grab my notes just to make sure I tell you the right thing. So the Father's Day limited edition special is a whiskey soap collection, which every man is gonna love because you know whiskey is, you know, if you like that bourbon barrel smell, I love this the scent. So it's a three-in-one soap, um, a man face that has a campfire smell, and then a salve that is going to be for hands, hair, and any man chapped parts. So I know Aaron always uses like this body glide stuff whenever he's hunting and camping and fishing and all the things. So this is a really, really great alternative for that. That's all natural. Maverick and Above can purchase starting on June 3rd. We're going to release it to all ambassadors on June 6th. And then it's going to be available on June 8th for customers. So in order to get it in time for Father's Day, I highly recommend that you tell your customers to be ready and purchase. Sorry. Um, June 8th, 9th, and 10th to make sure that they receive it in time for Father's Day. Um, I know Jamie has mentioned a new product line coming out, and that is going to be for sensitive skin, and that is our moss and plum collection, and we wanted to make sure that we have something for the J month, so we have the Father's Day special, which is going to be um, in June, and then July 11th, we are going to be releasing the moss and plum facial system, and I really love this because of the honey scrub mask. Um, and we're actually doing an oil cleanser this time. So just think tons of hydration. It will soothe and calm irritated skin. And there will be a ton of trainings um, and information that is going to be shared on the site um, as soon as everything is ready to go. So we are also going to have a full size dew balm. So it will be the same size as our facial lotion bar. I know people have been going crazy over the dew. Some like it actually better than the facial lotion bar. So I'm excited to be able to have a full size version of that. And if you have noticed, there is a pre-order button on some of our products on the website that is new. And I love this feature because it is for any products that are on back order. For example, we are currently out of Arise, but anybody that had Arise in their subscribe and save cart previously, the Arise will still be shipping out. So no worries there. We have that covered. But for anybody that is looking to purchase new, they can pre-order it so that they are in the queue. So as soon as it comes out, they will be the first ones to get it. So that's really exciting. They can go ahead and pre-order that. 
Now I will tell you that that is only for the retail option and that is not a subscribe and save option yet, the pre-order button. Um, I believe that is all of that um, that I have for you guys today. And then I know Beth is gonna kick off um, a little training for you guys, so. Okay guys, so here's the thing. You know about the fire starter challenge, right? Everybody knows about it. If you want to participate in this, this is a great chance to get yourself motivated and to get your team motivated. If you're doing it, get them to do it. Everybody work together with this fire starter challenge. It's 20 bucks at the beginning of each month. So you all need to be getting your money in now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, talk to your um, upline, go back to I guess it was last week or the week before training. I think it was last week. Okay, so what I want to talk about really, I, really quick, I'm not going to belabor any of these points, but I think if you keep some of these things in mind for the fire starter, I think maybe it'll help you as you go through the next um, several months, June, July, August, September, where we're going to be building towards convention. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna to need to write down some goals, okay? You're gonna to need to write down a weekly goal and a monthly goal, okay? You should all, we should all have yearly goals, but you should be writing down a weekly goal and a monthly goal, okay? When we first started this thing, we were building on possibility, okay? We had no idea, really. The sky was the limit for us, okay? In our minds, the sky was the limit and we were building on possibility. It's different now because we've been doing this for two years and a month. Okay, so now we've got some reality. We know what, what realistically needs to be done. Okay, we were, we were busting our butts when we were building on possibility, right? We were really, we were pressing every day, full court press every day, okay? We need to get back to that. We need to get back to that. I'm talking to me too, okay? So don't, do not think I'm preaching at you. I am talking to Beth Street as well, okay? So we need to be, Last week, I think I talked about, um, or was it week before? I can't remember. It was week before. We talked about um, when I talk, when I do a coaching call, I tell everybody, write down three things that will happen if you do nothing in your business today. Write down three things that will happen if you move forward. And I also like to, to add, you know, write down some daily wins whether it means I did a, a reel today or I, I did a video or I talked to somebody who was, I was scared to talk to, okay? Sounds nuts, okay? But it's training your brain to keep progressing, okay? It's so important that we don't get stuck in the, be paralyzed by inactivity because that's what happens. The more you don't do something, the more you don't do it. That is human nature, Okay, so when you're paralyzed by inactivity, it is really hard to get going. I know this for a fact. I know this in my heart from my own experience. Okay, so start writing those things down. What's going to happen if I do nothing today? Well, if I do nothing, I'm going to be sitting here in the same place tomorrow and the next day, the next day. If I do something, I'm at least going to have potential for more volume, whatever. Okay, so next thing, do not focus on what your downline is doing. Okay, focus on your activity, 90% and their activity, 10%. Does that mean you don't help your downline? No, that means your downline is their own business. They are their own enterprise. Okay, so you're working yours 90% and you're helping them the rest of the 10%, the rest 10%, okay? And you, you keep in mind that they started this business as an entrepreneur. So you wanna make sure that they're self-sufficient. Okay, so um, do you all know the 80-15-5 rule? 80% of the people um, are satisfied making, uh, they're totally happy making um, zero to $500 a month and just being part of the thing, being part of MIG. 15% are totally happy making $2,000 to $3,000 a month. And there are only 5% of the people who want to make $25,000 or more per month. Okay, keep that in your mind as you're talking to people. Find out what their level of interest is and what their level of commitment is and meet people where they're at, okay? Because that is gonna help you 
have realistic expectations of them and have realistic expectations of yourself. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, it, be sure to celebrate their accomplishments at that level. In other words, if they're, if they're an 80 percenter, celebrate their 80 percent accomplishment. If they're a five percenter, celebrate it at that level. Okay. Uh, next thing, focus on MIG 100 percent. If you are selling something else or obsessed with something else, you're killing your paycheck, okay? So like I see all these people inviting, I get invites to come to my party or whatever. Well, you know what? That is taken away from your MIG business. People say, oh, well, she's not really that, that interested in what she's doing with her company because she's trying to promote other things especially for the next few months, forget all the other stuff. St stay focused on your MIG business 100%. Okay, in the beginning, you were told to make a list, right? Okay, where's that list? Do you still have it? Are you adding to it? If you don't have a list, you don't have a business, okay? So get that list out, go back. Who have you talked to? Who said no two years ago? Who said no two weeks ago? Document it. Keep, keep up with your list. Work that list, okay? Keep um, on top of who you're talking to, who you have talked to. What, what was the temperature of that conversation? Were they like, no way, no how, never? Were they like, well, this is not the right time? Because today might be the right time, even though two years ago wasn't. Have you talked to your customers about joining? Okay, the way that our comp plan works is not, you know, it's not, oh, you can make a lot more money if you are, or you can save a lot of money if you are an ambassador. No, that's not how it works, but they can make money. Is that gonna, is that gonna benefit them? Sure. Okay, they're already talking to people. Go to those people and see if they might wanna join. Okay, that's gonna help you when it comes to, to October and your rank goes up. Okay, keep that in mind. How are you going to build toward convention? How are you going to get that fire started? Okay, how are you generating leads? All right, are you joining groups on Facebook in person? Are you in the, like whenever um, Jamie moved to Rockwood, she, she texted me and she said, I just joined the Roan County Bee Club. I was like, it cracked me up because I was like, she just moved there. She's been there two days and she's in the bee club. Okay. Are you in clubs? Are you in groups? Are you just doing the same things you've always done? Are you stepping out? Okay. Are you building relationship through your socials? Are you creating a profile that you would want to follow? Make people want to come back to see what you're posting. Okay. Some of you guys have great reels. Like some of them, I'm always like, man, she's so good at this. You know, and I think, man, if I was just that good, just, you just got to start somewhere. Okay. I'm preaching to myself again. Okay. Make people want to come back to your profile with no matter what, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you use, make people want to come back, comment on their posts so that they want to send you a friend request. So in other words, comment under other people's comments so that they want to be friends with you and they are familiar with you. Reply to all the comments on your post and use likes and comments to talk, to determine who you're going to talk to about the business. We all know this. I, I get that I'm saying some stuff that everybody already knows. But sometimes we need to hear things again. Um, we were just talking about this earlier. Sometimes you need to hear it um, to get it in here, okay? Um, you can host a post, get friends to um, do a curiosity post, whatever, okay? Your focus should be on helping people rather than selling. And it should be on making people want to come back to see what you're, what you're going to say next, okay? But you have to remember, you will not build this thing so solely by social media. You won't. Um, you, can, you can do a lot of things through social media, but you will not build this thing big solely through social media. You have to get out there and you have to be talking to the people. Okay, you all know about edge rank and how to bring your stories up in the news feed. Um, if you don't talk to me, message me and I'll tell you. Um, do the things that you know 
we get so comfortable in staying the same, doing the same thing that we forget, hey, we need to change it up a little bit. People have already seen my profile picture. They've seen my banner. They've seen uh, that post. It's nothing wrong with using evergreen content, but do some, something different. Do something out of the box. That's what I want to challenge you to do. Do something out of the box over the next couple of days and start getting comfortable with it. If it's a video, do it. If it's a reel, if it's a TikTok, whatever, okay? So um, follow up 100% of the time and remember that only 2% of the people buy or join you on the first contact, okay? That's big because you're gonna have to keep talking to people, okay? It just is what it is. It's how this business works. And last thing I wanna say, well, next to the last thing. Um, when you're talking to people, lead with the business. You don't always have to lead with product. Show them that our products are awesome and they can make money from selling them, okay? That's how you're gonna build your business, okay? Um, use your ATM and be a student of people. Learn what drives that person. If you're talking to somebody and they say, well, um, you know, I've got kids who are playing travel soccer. Okay, well, hey, this could help you earn money to buy their cleats. This could help you earn money to go on their trips. Whatever, be, be a student of people, okay? And closing, and this might help you with your fire starter, okay? This could help you over the next four months be able to reach your two by two and four by four, okay? So when you're closing, and y'all, I know I've said this before, but somebody may not have heard it or somebody may need to hear it again. When you're closing, here's your language, okay? How much money would it take to make this business worth your while? Okay, $1,000 a month, okay? So how many hours a week are you willing to put in to get that amount of money? Five hours. Okay, so if I can show you how to make $1,000 a month in five hours a week, what's gonna keep you from joining me today? It's that simple. You have to show them that you've got the thing that can get them where they need to go. Your excitement is contagious and your vision is contagious and they are gonna want to duplicate what you're doing, okay? So those are just a few of the things that I think might help us with this fire starter that might help us kind of get back into the groove. Sometimes we, we step back. And like I said, we get paralyzed by inactivity a lot. Sometimes we step back and we forget the basics. And that's what we have to get back to, back to the basics, back to when we were building from possibility, back to 2019, back to early 2020, when we were saying, man, this thing is gonna blow up. And back when, we were super excited. We have to get our mindset back because the business is still great. The opportunity is still just as great as it was then. Everything is still the same except for us, okay? Except for this. So we got to get that back to get back into growth mode, okay? And that's where we'll, I want every one of you, I want everybody's mind in growth mode, especially, especially for these next four months, because I want every person that is listening to this, I want you at convention, I want you proud of where you are. I don't want you sitting right where you are today in October, okay? I don't care whose team you're on. I don't care if you're, what, what team you're on. I want everybody to win this, okay? And, and I believe there's enough, there's, there's plenty of room for everybody to win. So that's all I got, guys. Um, anybody have anything else they wanna say? Anybody, anybody? Okay, I, I'll take that as a no. I don't see anybody's mouth moving. So get on the Firestarter Challenge, go pay your 20 bucks, get ready for, to start in June and get that list going, get, get, your, get your wheels rolling of how you can press, full court press for the next four months. Y'all have a great Tuesday and we will talk soon, next week actually.